It's a bad start to the week for most consumers as the price of oil climbed to its highest in about two months. The international crude benchmark Brent is back up above $120 a barrel. That's as European nations continue their political wrangling on a sixth round of sanctions on Moscow, which could include a gradual ban on Russian oil imports. EU governments rejected a total embargo on Russian crude over the weekend. And now they're discussing uh, restrictions on deliveries via ships while keeping pipelines open. That's a watered-down version of the original proposal to hit Russia's fossil fuel sector over the crisis in Ukraine. But it comes as warmer weather sets in in places like Europe and the U.S. and Asia. Demand for oil is expected to go up as people drive around more or get on planes for their summer trips. Now, for more on the story, let's go to David Madden. He's a market analyst at Equity Capital in London. Welcome back to the program, David. Now, much has been said about this peak driving season in the U.S. starting the end of this month all the way to September. So we expect demand for petrol in particular to go up. But have we seen that? What's going on in markets now? Well, what we've seen is that gasoline prices or petrol prices, as we call them here in Europe, uh, have been strong in the United States ahead of the, the very closely watched driving season. And this is a function of a couple of factors, but mostly to the fact that the underlying oil market, as you mentioned, uh, Brent crude oil, uh, is at close to a, a, a two-month high. And it's a, it's, a, it's a continuation of concerns about squeeze supply issues. OPEC plus don't appear to be in any major rush to actually ramp up output for, at the, beyond the current rate at which they're doing it. Uh, and as you mentioned in your intro, uh, we continue to have division uh, in the European Union in relation to uh, how, how to uh, impose sanctions on Russian energy. You know, the European Union, it, it was always going to be a, a staggered and phased process of eventually um, cutting back on their dependence on, on Russian energy. Um, but we do have, you know, most notably Hungary, is kind of, who is uh, one of the more one of the more pro-Russian voices within the European Union, and they and they appear to be to be one of the kind of more um, challenging members of the European Union in relation to go, in relation to bringing in a more comprehensive. Um, block or embargo on Russian energy. So the fact that oil continues to be high largely because of squeeze, um, supply squeeze issues, uh, and now that we're moving into holiday season and driving season, as well as uh, is pushing up gasoline or petrol prices. Right. So looking at demand again, are we approaching that point where we reach the so-called demand destruction where oil just gets too expensive and consumers decide not to buy as much of it? I don't think we're, we're quite there yet. Obviously, it, it certainly isn't helping situation that oil is at elevated levels. You know, it's, it's no coincidence that oil is at, is at fairly high levels in the grand scheme of things. And yet we're seeing here in the UK, inflation's at a 40-year high. It's at a record record high in the Eurozone. So it's also at a 40-year high in the United States. But in relation to you know, the kind of point of demand destruction, it's worth noting that even in 2008, just kind of on the cusp of the kind of the financial and, and, and banking crisis, we had the price of oil up well north of $140 a barrel, so a good $20, $25 a barrel beyond where we currently are. And and and, and then, the, and then the, the economy was still kind of managing, the global economy was still managing to survive on almost essentially record levels of oil then. So I think we may, consumers mightn't like essentially paying, you know, the equivalent of 120 barrels of oil vis-a-vis -vis their uh, petrol prices or vis-a-vis -vis their heating prices or their or their, or their airline uh, fare, fare ticket prices, but they can certainly put up with it for a bit longer. All right. David Madden joining us from London. Thank you for your analysis. Thank you.